Who says us farmers can't tickle our technology junkie itch too? Here at Regenerative Farmers of America we advocate for the old ways. But that doesn't mean we're totally against new technology. It's thanks to sensors and chip doodads that we can manage water use better, not just for the health of our crops but also for the health of our wallets. Every single one of us uses technology on our properties in one way or another. What we're trying to say is that not all new advancements are bad, and a lot of them are designed with the health of the soil, the livestock and your finances in mind. So here's a list of our favorite new tools in the world of agriculture. Drones. Let's start with the best eyes on the farm first. Drones used to map your land from above is cheaper than getting people in to do it for you. But there's more to it than just getting an aerial view to plan your planting and landscaping more efficiently. There's even imaging technology designed to recognize the beginnings of disease on plants. Multispectral drones can assess plant stress levels, nutrient deficiencies, and even water availability. This helps farmers target their interventions with pinpoint accuracy, reducing waste and improving crop yields. Imagine having a detailed health report for every part of your field, how's that for precision farming? Drones are also used for precision planting and seeding. These high-tech machines can fly over fields and drop seeds at optimal depths and spacing. By using data from previous drone surveys, these drones ensure that seeds are sown in the best possible conditions, leading to better germination rates and more efficient use of resources. It's like having a smart gardener who knows exactly where and how to plant for maximum growth. One more cool one, we have drones that can assist in pollinator management. These drones use AI to monitor the presence and activity of pollinators like bees and butterflies. By understanding pollinator activity, farmers can better manage their crops and ensure that these crucial insects are supported, leading to better pollination and increased yields. It's a win-win for both nature and agriculture. Virtual fencing. Virtual fencing is a subject we went deep into before, we'll link that video at the end. It sounds a little unbelievable that a simple solar-powered collar could possibly keep entire herds in place with just the sound of an annoying beep, but it's incredibly effective. The monetary savings of not needing fences or the maintenance required for their upkeep is obvious. And if the price to kit out an entire herd is still a little steep for you, don't be too worried for too long, the prices keep dropping every year, becoming more and more affordable as the materials used to make the collars become cheaper. Managing your livestock, rotating their grazing space and keeping a constant eye on their numbers can all be done from your phone. Automation. Automation is becoming next level. Automated feeders, automated waterers, automated gates. Automation for everything. The sheer amount of manual labor you can cut out and the time saved just by automating the feeding and gate operations can free up your whole morning. Troughs refill themselves when the water level goes below a certain point. Timed levers release a precisely measured amount of food into feeders when you want it to and gates open first thing in the morning to let the chickens and the sheep out of their holdings, and close again when it's dark and they've returned by themselves to seek safety from the night. The equipment used to release a lever or to swing open a gate is very simple and the cost of getting the units is cheaper than getting it installed professionally. Then there's automatic watering for the fields, but you've definitely come across those before and they're probably the cheapest systems to set up of all. But lately the tech's getting so advanced that we've even got automatic planters that can transplant entire trees, and robots that do the planting, harvesting and weeding for you. Alright those last ones aren't exactly for the everyday farmer, and the price of producing this level of robot is still a long way from being economical in any way, so it's not even close to being in the foreseeable future. But it's a cool bit of sci-fi tech to mention nonetheless. Sensors. And again we have a wide category, sensors. To measure moisture in the soil, the weather, soil pH, carbon monoxide, the electrical current in your fences. Oh just about anything that can be found in the ground or in the air can be measured with a relatively uncomplicated little sensor. Knowing what conditions you're working with is pivotal to the success of your harvest and it's closely tied to the amount of water you use. Not only will it reduce overall consumption, keeping your field from being overwatered is even more important than underwatering it. It tells you when to add more amendments, or if you have too much of a certain nutrient. A healthy farm is all about keeping perpetual balance, and sensors are a non-invasive way to keep track of it all. Doing it all manually is humanly impossible, there's just not enough time in the day to get it all done, so why not use a tool that's completely safe, cheap and barely takes up any space. The newer sensors are getting so good that it can even tell you about the amount of microbial life and rocks that you have underground and they can notify you if there's movement in the field or the outskirts of coops and pens. Body sensors and chips. 
Body sensors probably fall into the wider sensor category, but the technology is much more advanced in living animals. Implanted in the neck or worn through the ear, these monitors send information on body temperature, heart rate, where the animal is located and their general activity levels straight to your phone. It's a great tool to combat loss to disease and stress as well as cutting down on manual labor. It's definitely a feasible purchase for the small-scale farmer. You don't have to have thousands of heads of cattle and huge amounts of land for it to be worth your while. The ultra-mobile goats and the fast-breeding pigs especially could do with a little closer monitoring from you during farrowing times and when those hooved escape artists make a break for freedom. Sensors worn in the ear have a longer shelf life since some of them can be reused for many years, so they're going to be the better option in the long run. Management Software and AI The software used in Wall Street offices and banks isn't all that much different from the spreadsheets that you use to keep your expenses, savings and schedules on track. Management software is exactly what it sounds like, using programs to manage your time, your money, your hired labor, marketing your produce and everything in between. Anyone who produces anything from the land will know what we mean when we say that every single aspect of your property needs to be managed. When to plant, when to harvest, when to breed, when to slaughter and when to rotate your grazers from one field to the next. Then there's AI. Artificial intelligence has the entire world's knowledge at its disposal. Just noticed a disease on your crops? Ask AI to diagnose it and to outline how to treat the condition. And the same goes for your animals. It can predict yields based on the weather, the amount of rain you got this year and the nutrients in your soil from the information you just got from those sensors you put in a few months ago. The more variables you give it, the more accurately it can predict an outcome or it can give you a step-by-step -step guide to fixing the problem. I can do it in seconds and list the solutions just as fast. Even if you aren't using it to predict outcomes and plan your operation for you, there is still the huge amount of information that it brings. No man can ever have enough knowledge, especially if he plans on feeding the community. Laser Scarecrows And we have to end this off with a little light-hearted fun. Laser Scarecrows This outrageous new invention is exactly as insane as it sounds. It was discovered that crows and various birds that like to decimate cornfields were sensitive to green light. So boxes with green lasers were set up in fields and every time they detected movement the box would shoot a green line of light in the direction of the movement. So far the reports indicate that it can save up to 75% of losses to birds. In all honesty we're not fond of this method of combating birds, no matter how destructive they can be. There just isn't enough data to know what the long-term effects will be. But if the research on city-dwelling animals, including birds, is anything to go by then light and noise in excess can seriously affect breeding, migrational travel and even flight balance in the air. So no, we aren't advocating for you to spend $300 to get a crow death ray in the cornfield just yet. But put a straw hat and an old coat on that box and you can't deny that the sight of R2-D2 on steroids, shooting lasers at the birds isn't entertaining at the very least. Don't let the leaps in technology scare you. Everything is made with ease of use in mind nowadays. If you don't know how to load and use a spreadsheet on your phone, Google it. If you want to install drip irrigation, don't spend money on getting someone to come out and do it for you, watch a YouTube tutorial and do it yourself. Information is the most powerful tool at your disposal, and it's all in your hand already. If you can do it on the computer, you can do it on your phone. But what are some of your favorite new gadgets that have hit the market recently? You know how much we love to hear your take on the discussions we have on this channel. And while you're at it, don't forget to leave a like and to subscribe so you don't miss any new uploads from us. Until next time, take care of the land, and she'll take care of you. Bye.